Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and we're here with uh, Dr. Charles Parker. Dr. Parker, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Love talking to you. Man. Um, I've been fascinated with dopamine and neurotransmitters, and I've been interviewing some experts. And one of them, thank for you, actually turned me on to Dr. Kenneth Bloom on Attention Talk Radio, and I was fascinated by him. Um, mm. It was fun because I asked him, "Are we addicted to drugs? Or are we addicted to dopamine?" And he actually said, "That's a good question because we're actually addicted to dopamine." But anyway, to digress, um, what I want to talk to you about today is I understand that stimulant medications help collect neurotransmitters in the synapse, which is what helps people focus, or that's the target. But it doesn't create neurotransmitters. Keep so if you're not doing what you need to do to create the transmitters, then the medications are really not going to be able to collect them. Is that there are so many interesting nuances to that question. <laughs> <laughs> we could talk for an hour about them. I'm going to try and do it in a few minutes here. Here's the deal. Not only, the, for, we were talking about protein in another, uh, another uh, mm -hmm. discussion. Protein brings the precursors in, which is the things that make the neurotransmitters. Now, I was raised in uh, northern Indiana, mm -hmm. and we got off, we did chicken catching as mm -hmm. a job mm -hmm. in the summer. And so if you go in to catch chickens, mm -hmm. and there are no chickens in mm -hmm. the ranch, mm -hmm. you're going to come out empty-handed. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and these, these medications, all the uh -huh. stimulant medications are chicken catchers. Uh -huh. So if you don't have any dopamine chickens in the chicken ranch, mm -hmm and you send the chicken catchers in, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how powerful they are, how many yep, 16 yep. guys you send yep, into the yep, yep. they're going to come out empty-handed, yep. and they're going to make you sick because yep. they're going to be bouncing on the walls inside the chicken ranch. Yep, yep. <laughs> so if you're going to go get chickens, there's got to be chicken there. So the million-dollar question is, is where do you get the chickens, or how do you get the neurotransmitters? What, that what is, facilitates that? That's the larger question because what happens is it's not only the protein, but it's all the nuances of things that actually enzymatically create the neurotransmitters from the protein. So you may be taking protein correctly, but you can have something even as simple as a systemic candida infection. Okay. <laughs> no. I, and, I hope I don't have to know what that is. The point really is it gets But it's a like, yeast infection. Okay. You can have a doggone yeast infection, and they're in there competing for the neurotransmitter mm -hmm. sites. So you have everything right, but the doggone neurotransmitters are not actually able to function correctly for other reasons other than the fact that the uh, chicken catch yep. you know, the yep. chicken catchers are working but yep. the neurotransmitters are also so working. so really me this so at the end of the day is you can take the protein that you need to make the neurotransmitter but your body is really kind of a chemical manufacturing plant it takes different things and combines them to That's do it. these things and so if it's if you're taking the protein in but it's not able to 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 manufacture the chemical, if you will, in the right way, then you're not going to create the neurotransmitter, and there's nothing to collect, which creates a problem. B6, you know, anyone, calcium, magnesium, mm -hmm. all those things. But, but I'm, I'm hesitating to say it because we don't want to say, hey, just go take calcium, magnesium. I think that's too much of that going mm -hmm. on in an industry. Well, take beta carotene or whatever. That's not the issue. The issue is measuring it, mm -hmm. finding out what the problem mm -hmm. is, correcting mm -hmm. the problem, and then you mm -hmm. can go from there. Well, that, that goes back to your point that I always love is the medications have to go through the body to get to the brain, <laughs> and, and protein's got to go through the body, and it's got to be manufactured. Yeah. So I, I thought this was really good. So I, I, I just a, another number one, um, if the stimulants are going to work and they're going to collect the neurotransmitter, we've got to manufacture those, so we need to make sure we're having protein, particularly for breakfast. Particularly for breakfast. And then if uh, protein is just not enough, so there's other things that can impact this so that's why you need to take a look at what's going on because if the medications aren't necessarily working it doesn't mean it's the medications all that's, necessarily that is the key point Jeff all right all right dr. Parker it's always so great to have you on thanks the show, for having right? me nice talking take to you. care see you guys